I'm Frankie. Today, I would like to deliver a short presentation that I strongly believe will interest you. The title of this presentation is indicated on the whiteboard over here. And the title is How to Ensure That Your Staff Achieve and Exceed Their Performance Goals and Key Performance Indicators or KPIs through the practice of knowledge management. This presentation will be divided into two major sections. And for section number one, what I will do is I will share with you what the practice of knowledge management is all about. And for section number two, I will then share with you exactly how the practice of knowledge management can directly contribute to ensuring that your staff consistently achieve and exceed performance goals and key performance indicators. What we'll do now is a focus on section number one. So, what is the practice of knowledge management or in short, POKM really all about? And the answer is this. First, the practice of knowledge management is about developing eight highly focused capabilities. Secondly, enabled by knowledge tools. Thirdly, to systematically manage critical knowledge. Fourth, leading to breakthrough performance. And of course, guided by an implementation action plan. Now, in the context of this working definition, this word knowledge includes two major components. And the two components are, firstly, know what. Secondly, know how. Know what refers to what we know, what we understand. And know how, on the other hand, refers to what we do after we know and what we apply. Know how is also commonly referred to as skills. Next, just now, as I was sharing with you the definition of the practice of knowledge management, I specifically highlighted that there are eight highly focused capabilities and what are these capabilities? The answer is this. First, knowledge identification. Secondly, knowledge acquisition. Thirdly, knowledge application. Fourthly, knowledge sharing. And number five, knowledge development. Six, knowledge innovation. Seven, knowledge preservation. And finally, Number eight, knowledge measurement. For the purpose of today's presentation, I will zoom in to focus on the first three highly focused capabilities. And they are knowledge identification, knowledge acquisition, and knowledge application. Let's start. First of all, when a performance goal or when KPIs are given to a specific employee, that employee, after receiving the performance goal, after receiving the key performance indicators, the first thing that a person must do is to ask himself three key questions. First, question number one, to achieve this performance goals to achieve these key performance indicators really what is the knowledge that I require which means first defining knowledge required to achieve performance goals secondly now at this point of time what is my existing level of knowledge 
or what is my knowledge level? That's question number two. Obviously, if you take the required knowledge to minus my existing knowledge, then I will be able to establish my knowledge gap. And that's exactly question number three. That is, question three is, what actually is my knowledge gap? Now, this is extremely, exceptionally important to me. And I must have a sense of urgency to really find out my knowledge gap. Why is that so? Because I'm very clear. If I have a huge knowledge gap, it will therefore suggest that I will not be able to successfully achieve the knowledge goals, the performance goals, or the key performance indicators here. However, on the other hand, if I have a small knowledge gap, then it suggests that I will be able to achieve my performance goals or my KPI because I'm very clear that I have adequate knowledge required to enable me to successfully achieve these performance goals. And so therefore, in our mind, what is clear is this. Essentially, the practice of self-driven, proactive knowledge identification is really about assisting me to, first of all, establish my knowledge gap in relation to the goals that I have to achieve. And then secondly, it assists me to identify specifically what knowledge indeed is required to close this gap, to address my knowledge deficiency. And henceforth, I must be clear, as indicated earlier, this knowledge gap, in addition, to enable me to really make the practice of knowledge identification work. I can adopt two knowledge tools. And these knowledge tools are, firstly, knowledge identification system. And secondly, knowledge profiling. Now, let's move on to the second highly focused capability, and that is knowledge acquisition. Of course, once I have established my knowledge gap, my next real concern would be to close the gap because it is of no use, it is of no point if I know the existence of the knowledge gap and I do nothing about it. That being the case, I must therefore be highly self-driven, be highly proactive to acquire, to import relevant knowledge to close this knowledge gap from multiple knowledge sources. And for this matter, potentially, illustrations, examples of knowledge sources or sources of knowledge may include the following. Firstly, I may of course acquire or import relevant knowledge from the various subject matter experts in my organization or in my department. Number two, I can import or acquire relevant knowledge from our suppliers, our customers, local authorities, and of course, even including our co-workers or colleagues. And thirdly, I can import knowledge from knowledge products like CD-ROMs, like internet, or knowledge portals. And of course, finally, obviously I can acquire knowledge from participating in external programs and customized in-house programs. But the focus here is to ensure that I quickly bring in relevant 
knowledge to close my gap, to enable me to achieve the performance goal and to achieve my key performance indicators. Next, we come to the third highly focused capability. Now, after I brought in all this relevant knowledge, what next? Of course, the next step would be to immediately apply what I have acquired. Because I know for a fact, it is not how much I know that makes me excellent. It is how much I transfer what I know to the workplace that make the real difference. In other words, it is the intensity of application that actually drive breakthrough performance. It is the intensity of application that assists me directly to achieve my performance goals and, of course, at the same time, my key performance indicators. In summary, let me be very specific on this extremely key point, and that is performance goals and key performance indicators, they do not fail. It is the staff that lacks relevant knowledge that fails to achieve the performance goals. So, if you are the head of company or the head of human capital and your real concern is to ensure that your organizational staff your departmental talents can consistently achieve and exceed their performance goals and their key performance indicators, then I strongly recommend you to participate in my half-day forum workshop entitled Initiating the Practice of Knowledge Management to Achieve Breakthrough Performance. Now, in this forum workshop, what I will do is I will share with you specifically a highly structured, a highly step-by-step -step approach. How your staff can essentially manage critical knowledge and in the process consistently achieve sustainable, superior performance. And this is my personal assurance. Now, for your information, I run this half-day forum workshop designed for heads of company and heads of human capital and, of course, senior human capital professionals that are responsible for performance management, for talent management. I run this forum workshop 52 times in a year. Yes. It really means to say on a weekly basis. So, on my side, I'm looking forward to meeting up with you, to seeing you in my next intake in the very near future. Alright? And with this, this is Frankie signing off. Cheers! And most important, bye-bye.